is uh, my TEW 2020 game, and as you can tell, uh, this is the first video here on the channel. Uh, I wanted to create a new channel because of the excitement uh, surrounding this game. We've all been waiting for it, and uh, now that it's here, uh, we are off and running with uh, some new games, and um, we're going to start off with an AEW game, actually, because it's uh, one that I think a lot of people have had some fun with, uh, both in TEW 2016 and now uh, TEW 2020 I think it's going to be even more exciting because uh, of where AEW is at and um, obviously um, it's uh, it's an interesting spot for them because they're chasing uh, the giant that is the WWE so uh, we're going to start off with AEW here and have some fun with this game and uh, this will be uh, a channel that is pretty much uh, devoted to TEW 2020 so uh, if you enjoy it uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, I enjoy watching all of your games out there uh, if you're someone that just uh, watches these and maybe don't do a game yourself uh, if you enjoy playing TW 2020 uh, give it a shot because I am not someone who thought that I would be doing uh, a YouTube video on these either but uh, the more I watch how awesome uh, some of your guys videos are uh, it made me want to do one myself so uh, we're gonna have some fun with it and we're gonna start off with AEW and uh, why AEW that's the question right is why do you want to play as AEW, and I think it's because, you know, AEW is in a company right now where they have the opportunity to, you know, chase someone, and when you're in the WWE, I think it can get sort of repetitive pretty early uh, in that, you know, you don't really have anyone you're chasing, you're almost you're playing against yourself, basically, and so I think it's more fun with AEW, and this is just how I play the game. You know, everyone else plays it differently. Uh, I've enjoyed, you know, playing with WWE, and, and mostly uh, when, when I play with WWE, like in, you know, 2016 game or 2013 and so on, uh, I've done it with probably older type of mods, whether it's from the, the Attitude Era uh, or even, you know, early, probably early 90s, late 80s type of games. Those are a bit more fun uh, just based on, I guess, the way I book, and again, we all we all play this game differently and that's what makes it fun but I think with AEW you have the opportunity to, to create more stars and you know you don't have a just completely overwhelming roster that is so bulky and point an example here I mean you just kind of look at the roster and, and this is kind of the test for me is you know you use the scroll bar and always uh, if it's like up in here somewhere you know you've got a lot of workers on here but uh, this seems a little bit more manageable and uh, I think that's what's going to make it fun uh, to play with AEW because it is more of a challenge and you know you have more of a roster that you've got some guys that are known obviously it starts with Chris Jericho you've got uh, John Moxley and so on um, Kenny Omega of course and that's great but you also have you know some guys that can still be made into these bigger stars and I think that's what makes it exciting and so when you look at guys you know like Pac um, you've got all these other guys and of course we're not going to go through every one of them right now but you understand what I'm saying <laughs> that there there are so many guys that you feel like you can make into stars and that's what I think makes you know AEW game very exciting because you know you do have the guys like Sammy Guevara, um, you know you've got Ray Phoenix and, and Pentagon Jr. and all these guys that I think a lot of people have connected with with AEW and, and I think it makes it pretty fun for a game. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot here because I, I think that AEW has some really good talent and if you kind of look at where they're at from a company size standpoint. Um, you know, currently in that medium range, uh, they're chasing WWE, as we know. It's going to take some work to get to this big range here uh, because uh, at medium, you know, it's 59 popularity in the home region of the Southeast, which we're at 65 right now, plus 35 in either the Great Lakes, Mid Atlantic, or Mid South. And of course, we've achieved that. But to get to big, uh, we've got to get to 77 in five mainland American regions. So we're at 65 in the southeast. That leads the way right now. We've got 63 in Tri-State, 60 in Mid-Atlantic, and 63 in the Great Lakes. So we've still got some work to do in all these regions to get to big. So that'll take a little time, uh, but uh, we will try to get there with uh, AEW. Uh, I mentioned the roster and, and two of the other reasons why I wanted to play an AEW game, and, and here's why. Uh, it starts for me with the tag team division because this tag team division is so fun and what I like about it is it's so different uh, because you know you do have the Jurassic Express you know you've got Luchasaurus 
Jungle Boy, you've got Marco Stun in there, you've got all the different options with Jurassic Express. They're a different type of team, you know, but you've also got, you know, best friends. You've got uh, all these other teams, you know, the Lucha Brothers, um, SCU, you've got different variations, the Butcher and the Blade. I think they've been, you know, kind of a team that, that maybe doesn't get a ton of credit for the role they've played, uh, but they've been very prominent in AEW and, and they played their role, I think, very awesomely. Um, I don't think awesome is a word, but uh, that's how excited I am <laughs> to play this game. Um, and, of course, you've got the Dark Order, uh, Private Party, the Young Bucks, of course. And uh, I just, you've got so many different, you know, options when it comes to tag teams. And that's, I think, what's exciting. And, yes, there are some free agents out there. And we will probably touch on them a bit more here in the next couple episodes. Uh, maybe I haven't decided yet if I'm going to maybe give you guys the insight into who we're going to be uh, chasing after or uh, we're going to let some of these guys maybe debut uh, and see maybe more of us as a surprise uh, rather than give it to you right up front because I think that makes the game more exciting and hopefully that's more fun uh, for you guys. But we'll decide on which way uh, we want to do that. But uh, the tag team division is loaded and uh, I think it's going to be fun. And speaking of free agents, this is not something, and I've never done this in any of my games, uh, I don't just plan on running out and, and signing 800 people and uh, trying to do all that or sign everyone that WWE releases. That's not going to really be the plan for me. I, I try to keep it pretty tight in terms of uh, you know, trying to look ahead, book ahead, and that type of stuff. So um, probably won't be running out and grabbing everyone. But yes, there will be some very intriguing options out there uh, that we may find some roles for. But I don't want to get a roster, as I said. That's just completely where I've got the, the scroll bar up here, and I'm just scrolling for 10 minutes until I get to the bottom. So uh, we're not going to try to do that. But uh, another thing, too, and, and in addition, I said two things uh, with the tag team division. And the other thing was that uh, I really like the women's division. Um, I think that this is one that's it's very intriguing uh, because I think it's one where you've got – you know, a roster that is is very intriguing, and I don't even think we can search right now. We won't worry about that. We'll just we'll pick out some of the ones. Obviously, we know uh, with the women's roster that, uh, you know, you've got a lot of different characters. Of course, you have Britt Baker. Um, you know, you've got some other ones in there. Uh, Rio's down here somewhere. And, and I like the women's roster because, again, you've got some ones that you think have the opportunity to be able to to kind of, you know, make that jump forward and potentially be stars and and you've got different you know styles and they've got all kinds of different uh you know a attributes and everything and so uh, we're going to try to build up the women's roster even more uh, chris statlander's in there and there are more that again we're not going to go through all of them um you got sheet up here too and so uh, i think it's a pretty fun women's roster and so with the tag teams you know with the the women's roster and you've got the opportunity to build new stars on both, uh, whether it's singles competition, tag team competition, and of course, you've got the stables, and I think that's something that's fun too. Uh, it's kind of that, uh, not exactly like New Japan, but uh, you've got a lot of different, you know, stables and stuff, and I think that makes it exciting too, in that, you know, you've got all these different people, and of course, Death Triangle is the one that probably has the most momentum right now. Uh, when you look at them, I guess you could argue that Jurassic Express does too, um, and then of course, the Inner Circle, the Elite, there's just, there's so many different personalities, and you've got so many different groups uh, that I think that's going to make it fun uh, with AEW as well. So, uh, before we wrap up this little intro video, we are going to look at the owner goals uh, here from uh, and Tony Khan, and we're going to see what they look like as we are going to move forward here in the game. Now, this is, uh, by the way, quickly, I am starting this on March uh, the 1st, of first week of March 2021. Now, the reason why, you may ask why March, uh, we'll, we'll get right back to the owner goals here, but uh, March because um, Revolution would have been on the 4th, uh, February, and we're going to add the um, the uh, logos there into this too, and I'll do that before the next episode. But um, the reason why is because rather than start uh, at the 1st of January and maybe build towards uh, Revolution, which is considered a season finale event, uh, we're just going to start uh, the next one. And I didn't want to start in 2020 because uh, we're already past that. So we're going to start week one, March 2021. Uh, so we're going to start that, and then that way we're building towards double or nothing, uh, having a, a quicker build. Um, you know, towards uh, revolution. So we're just going to start there. And again, that's a preference thing. And uh, we'll we'll focus on that uh, more when we get through it. But quickly, the owner goals. Uh, here we go. AEW must have risen in size 
to at least big. Uh, we already looked at that and saw what we had to do to get there. Uh, AEW must not fall below medium size at any point. Uh, that is something I think we should be okay with. Uh, and we can hire these types of people, the comedy, uh, the brawlers, or the high flyers. So that's interesting. Um, so uh, we will have to stay away from those uh, if uh, we don't want to anger Mr. Tony Khan. So uh, we might have to do that with some of these guys, though, but we'll see. Uh, but all right, guys, that is going to be uh, the starting point here. And as you can see, my competition, the WWE, has uh, refreshed their brand. So we'll see how that works out for them and uh, whether or not uh, they're going to be true competition uh, and how we can overtake the WWE uh, as we move forward. So that's going to be the plan. And uh, you've seen kind of the starting point here. And on the next episode, uh, we will jump into uh, the very first edition of AEW Dynamite. And again, subscribe if you enjoy it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this series. And thanks for watching.